Hey, in this series, we're using Chainlink functions to bring weather data into our smart contract. If you haven't been following along, there's a link to the full playlist in the description below. All right, so in the previous videos, we've talked about what we're building and we've looked at how to create the JavaScript code that Chainlink Functions is going to use. Before we go any further, we need to actually create our Chainlink Functions subscription. So let's take a look at the Functions UI now and how we get started doing that. All right, so here we have the Chainlink Functions UI. If we go to functions.chain.link, you should see this as well once you connect your wallet. Now remember, these examples are gonna be using the Sepolia test network, so that's what we'll be doing here. I've already been to the faucet and I have my link and ETH so that I can continue creating a subscription. Now the way that Chainlink functions work is we create a subscription and I like to think of it as a bucket of link tokens that we then can authorize different contracts to use. So let's create that subscription now. We'll enter in our email address and a subscription name. And we'll click on the checkbox and create our subscription. We'll confirm the subscription creation, sign the message, and then we'll need to add funds to our subscription. So effectively what we've done is we've created the bucket, but now we need to put some link token in it. For this use case, five link should be more than enough for what we're doing. We'll click add funds and we'll prove this as well. And the next step would be to add a consumer. And we'll do that later because that's what we'll be doing in the next video in this series. And with that, Check out the next video if you need to know how to deploy a consumer contract, and I'll catch you in the next one.